Hello and welcome to this tutorial on C Sharp Tesseract OCR, Optical Character Recognition. And this is where we'll extract text from image files. And we will use the Iron OCR library, which is free for development and provides the most accurate results. So let's go to the NuGet Package Manager solution and install Iron OCR. I've already installed it to save us some time, but you'll need to install it for this tutorial. And so just go to Browse, search for Iron OCR, and install the library. So let's go to the program CS file and start the code. Add namespace using Iron OCR. Go to the main function, type VAR OCR equals new Iron Tesseract. And then using VAR input equals new OCR input. And here we'll pass the path of our image file. I've already copied that path to save some time. So let's see the image that we want to read. This image is known as case one PNG. It's a simple PNG file containing several words in a large font. So let's write the code. And in the image name, VAR results equals OCR read input. And this will read the text from the image. Result save as text file. And here we save the output as a text file. You can also save it as a PDF or display it on the screen. So let's run the program. And we'll wait for the program to generate the output file. Okay. Output's been generated, so let's compare it with the input image file. And we can see the output is 100% accurate. So let's close those files and consider a second example. This image consists of a larger body of text and as you can see, a smaller font. So let's go to the code, change the input image name, output file name, and run the program. All right, program is running, so we'll wait for it to generate the output file. Output's been generated, so let's compare both the input and output file. And as you can see, Iron OCR can easily read large bodies of text. It works best with black text on white background, but includes other helper methods that can assist when the input is not in this perfect format. So let's close the files and consider another example. This example involves the same text from the previous excerpt, but this time the page has been printed, crinkled, rotated, and rescanned. So let's go to the code, change the input file name. The image is skewed, so we need to call the dskew method. And we'll change the output file name and run the program. Program is running and we'll wait for it to generate the output file. All right, it's been generated, so let's compare both input and output file. And we can see that the Iron OCR has generated a very accurate output despite the quality of the original file. So there we have it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And as always, if you need any support, please don't hesitate to contact our support team.